<sighs> this is what Paragon could have been, ladies and gentlemen, right here. This, this beauty. But it is not, and it will not be. It will never be. Now, there are a lot of things going on through my brain, and I decided not to try and come up with a script for this video because I wanted to be as honest as possible with myself, first and foremost, obviously with you guys, like I always am. I'm always very honest. I only really do scripts for my guides anyway. If they're very complicated, there's lots of details. I barely do scripted videos. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about this so we all know what happened. So there's probably a couple questions on your guys' mind. First off, what do I think about the whole thing? Second off, what's going to happen to this channel? What am I going to do? And a couple of other things maybe, but those are probably the most important questions that we should answer. While you guys are enjoying this amazing gameplay of a game that used to be. So, this game is still around. We, there's exactly 90 days since today. Since January 26th, it's going to go down on April 26th. I don't know if it's 90 or 91 days. I didn't bother to count. It's three months, okay? You guys get it, alright? I'm frustrated, you know? I tried. I really wanted this game to succeed, and I truly saw a vision for it. I definitely believed in it. I definitely, when I first saw it, right off the bat, especially on Legacy, less so on Monolith, but I still saw it. I saw a vision for the game. I saw it being in these big arenas and these big tournaments, esports, all that. And I'm pissed off. I'm not going to fucking cry here because I'm fucking pissed off. Epic Games claimed to listen to the community, and while they did a couple of times... Most of the time, it was too late. And again, they shot themselves in the foot by being too late. Or by doing something completely different that nobody expected. And I feel like this all started when the item system switched. Let alone Legacy going to Monolith. A lot of people left at that point. But when the item system changed, then people really did get lost. And I feel like Epic Games had a two-pronged problem here. When they switched from Legacy to Monolith... They lost their initial backers. They lost their founders. They lost the people that were really, really down with the vision of Legacy. They really wanted it. Then they switched to Monolith, and they're like, wait, this isn't the game I signed up for. What the hell? Especially when the item system changed. And then, second problem was that they had really poor onboarding to newer players. I mean, if you're going to get rid of the older players, at least have the newer players come in and stay for a while, right? Wrong. They didn't do that. They had a bunch of bugs. They had crashes. They had issues on their release dates. They had servers going down and people having to wait in queues for eight hours at a time. There was a lot of problems and it was a, kind of a big turnoff, especially for newer players without a solid tutorial with the toxicity in the community, etc, etc, etc. People asked for a ranked mode. They never delivered a ranked mode. They kept trying to fix, quote-unquote, fix their matchmaking. You can fix the matchmaking much easier after implementing a ranked mode and analyzing that algorithm and pulling the data from that experiment using their terminology. There's a lot of things I'm upset with with Epic. Now, this is obviously due to Tencent, who is a very, very big investor. And Tencent asked, you know, where the, where the hell is Paragon going? And Epic Games and the community, they couldn't respond because they said, yeah, we just need to have better balance and then add a ranked mode. But that's not good enough. You had almost two years. You're still not out of beta. I would be pretty upset if I was Tencent too. I'm upset at Epic because I tried my best. I tried my best to give them everything I had, really. And screw the money, really. Really. Like, I'm not going to ask for a refund. I'm going to talk about that in a second, why I'm not going to get a refund. But not even the, not even the money. I gave them so much more. I gave them respect. I gave them my time. I gave them my effort. I invested my energy, my soul into this game, my passion for everything. And by no means do I regret it. I love every single person that I have touched through my videos, that I have helped with my lessons, that I have met online while playing Paragon, that I have guided through the games. It has all been an amazing and incredible experience, and I wouldn't trade it for anything else in the world, and I'm going to keep on going strong. But it's just shameful, man. I, I was there from the very beginning. I was there the very first 
week, all right, not first day, because I heard about it after like one or two days after it was released in closed alpha. But I was there in the first week and right off the bat making guides, making builds, making gameplay and tutorial videos. I was there. I feel like a godfather to this game, you know? I watched this game be born. I raised it like it was my own child, you know? I just breastfed it with my own titty. No, just, that not that's weird. But you know what I'm saying, guys. You know what I'm saying. It's just, it's so upsetting to see something that you feel like you've worked so hard to help build, including the community, and it's just, and then it's just going to be gone. It's... This is how it feels to, you know, be diagnosed with a terminal illness. You have 90 days left to live. What are you going to do? Are you going to regret your life? Or are you going to try and live it to the fullest till the very end? Except this is a bit different. This is just a video game. And I feel like a lot of people are freaking out about this. Believe me. Believe me. Personally, when I say... That I understand how you feel if you are upset, if you are frustrated, if you are depressed even. I wouldn't go that far, but still. Believe me, okay? All the shit that I've done, every freaking bit of drama that I've been through, and I still stuck around because I loved this game. And I loved the community. Even if I've had some, some, some scuffles with Epic employees or other community members in the past due to some disagreements. But that's it. That's still in the past. And I love Paragon. And I still forever will. It'll forever be in my memory. It's one of my most favorite games of all time. This has happened to one of my other games that I used to play as a kid growing up. It's called City of Heroes. They were also shut down. Although for more BS purposes than this one. So I kind of know how it goes. So I've been through this cycle twice now. Okay? <laughs> With different games. So trust me. I know. But it's a video game. At the end of the day, it's a video game, and you'll find something else to play. You will. Just like Paragon came around, something else will come around, and you just have to stay positive. You can't just keep loathing. It's like breaking up with a girlfriend, with your ex. You just, you gotta get over it at some point, man. I got over my ex-girlfriend. It took a while, it was painful, it was hard, but after some time, it happened, it worked. I've been with Paragon through a lot. And I've been through a lot. With Paragon. I've witnessed a lot of things while this game was in my life. I've experienced a lot of things that were very influential on me as a person. While Paragon was in my life. I went through my first love. I broke up with my first love. I've had some very, very difficult times in school. I went through the whole MCAT process. The pre-medical school examining process. And Paragon was always there to help relieve my stress. Paragon has always been there for me. Is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to prove to you guys that. Uh, I'm, I'm trying not to overreact. I really am not. I'm tired. I'm fucking sick and tired of overreacting. I'm not going to put on a show. I'm going to say what I have to say. And be honest about it. Yeah, it fucking sucks. But it's really important to get through these emotions quickly, think logically, and move on. Because there's nothing we can do at this point. The contract, the termination contract has been signed. 90 days, that's pretty typical of a termination contract. My parents work in real estate, I understand. I know exactly how this shit works. No petition, no nothing is going to change their mind. Especially with Fortnite being such a nice, cushiony pillow to fall back on. And I'm not going to blame Fortnite, either. I'm not going to blame Fortnite. I'm going to blame Epic's lack of decision making earlier on in the process. If you want to blame something, do that. Do not scapegoat Fortnite. Now, why am I not going to refund this? Well, a few reasons. One, obviously, it brought me so much. It brought me so much value, so much sentimental value, so much pleasure and joy while playing it. That it was worth every penny that I invested in this game. Honestly. If we're talking just about pure capitalism. Two, instead of thinking with my emotions, I'm thinking logically and from a business standpoint. I do really appreciate all the hard work that the Paragon team has put in in making this game. Obviously, without their efforts, this game would not exist. They are the superstars behind the scenes. And not, I'm, I'm not even talking about Ed or Chris or, or Arctic, KL rather, the, that go on cameras in these, in these community corners and on live streams. I'm talking about everybody else behind the scenes. 
Just think for a moment, okay? Epic Games is a corporation. It's a pretty big one, too. They lease Unreal Engine 4 to other games. They make a lot of money, and they are obviously a for-profit business. They say they're going to refund from their own company, not from the stores where you purchase these. They're going to refund everything from themselves. They're going to lose profit on that. They're going to lose a lot of money on that. Investors are not going to be happy about that. The managers, the CEOs, everybody else that's very important up there at Epic is not going to be happy about that. Where do you think they're going to take that money from? Companies don't like losing profit. They only want to be in the positive. Where do you think they're going to take that money from? That's right. Employees. Now, this is only a theory. I don't know how Epic specifically works as a company, but this is a very common trend amongst companies, especially big companies. I know Activision does this. EA does this. Now, I'm not accusing Epic Games of being that kind of shitty company, but following trends, I wouldn't doubt it. And I would hate to have those people's paychecks cut because you know what? They're probably already going to lose their jobs when Paragon quits development. I don't think all of them are going to be transferred to Fortnite. And if they aren't, hopefully nobody gets gets fired. Hopefully. They don't have to shut down that entire team. Hopefully they get moved around to other projects. But that's my second point of view. That's the way I'm thinking about it. So, that's why I'm not going to refund it. All right. Now, lastly, what do I plan on doing? What's going to happen now with this channel? Well, I'm going to keep playing games. I will continue my solo series for Paragon until it dies out. I've been on the ship ever since it set sail, and I'm going to stay on this ship as it sinks. Because I'm not a pussy-ass bitch. Well, okay, I'm just kidding. You're not a pussy-ass bitch if you decide to leave now or refund your money. I don't think you're a bad person if you def decide to refund your money. I can afford to not have that money refunded. Some of you might not. But what I'm talking about is I'm still just going to stay with it. For the newer players, why not? Plus, the solo series is kind of fun, you know? Why not enjoy it while it's still there? It hasn't died yet. It's still got three months. That's quite a bit of time for you to play a video game. Should you invest any more money for, or coins for skins or anything like that anymore? No. I wouldn't recommend it. But hey, you can keep playing, right? Why not? Show your support for Paragon itself. Doesn't mean you have to show support for Epic Games by purchasing anything. So, I will continue that. As for other games in the future... I just have to wait and see, really. I have a couple of things floating around. Maybe Smite. Uh, that game I mentioned earlier, City of Heroes, is actually getting a, a spiritual successor at the end of this year, sometime in fall, I believe. And it's going out in beta. And I most likely will at least try that out. I don't know if I'll make that the focal point of my channel, but I'll at least try it out. Uh, what else? I don't really play Fortnite BR that much. Uh, I play. I like to play Fortnite uh, PVE when that was uh, when I used to have enough time to play that. I really liked it. It was a really grindy game, though. I don't know if I'll have time to do it. I don't know if I'll even play Fortnite at all. That's another question entirely. Like, do you support Fortnite since they killed Paragon? Again, I'm not blaming Fortnite for it. I'm treating it as, as a separate entity. So I don't think I would leave that out of the picture. But for now, I'm not saying I'm going to Fortnite. I'll probably prioritize other games instead. I'll probably put out some polls, so check those out in the community tab. Let me know what you guys would want me to play out of the ones that I ask. And thank you guys all so much for your support, but in the end, all you got to say is what's typed in the bottom left corner.